Well, hi friends. It is a Sunday afternoon and I thought I'd bring you along for a day and a half vlog. It is a beautiful spring day. My crab apple tree is blossoming. My tulips are about ready to open and it's just gonna be a wonderful day and a half, I thought, to bring you along. So my husband's home, because it's Sunday today, so we're gonna do some outdoor projects and I hopefully can keep planting my garden because the hope is to get that in before baby comes. So I'm due with my third. When you're seeing this is my official due date. So I may have a baby at this time. I'm not sure. <laughs> we'll see, it's all in God's time, right? But I just wanted to bring you along on this day and a half. So let's enjoy the sunshine and the beautiful weather. All right, so I made an iced coffee and it is not pulling quite right. For some reason our espresso machine is, the shots aren't in like the right meter <laughs> where they're supposed to be. And it's been like that for a couple days now. So I'm not sure what's going on. We usually are fine with it. But it's still pretty good with some of my raw milk. And I added a few cinnamon stevia drops. I'm gonna do a little bit of meal planning because I need to head to our local store too because I'm a little low on groceries. So um, we have a few events this week that I'll have to plan a meal for. It's my husband's birthday this week, so maybe make a special meal for him. But I just want to make sure Sundays I try to get the week planned out with at least a tentative idea of what we're making. So I'm gonna do that, get my grocery list made for just our local store. Supper is already prepped. It's a roast. I was supposed to have that done for lunch, um, but it didn't get done after church. So I just cooked it longer in the Instant Pot and we're gonna have that with some brioche buns and some homemade sauerkraut. It might be super simple meal and hopefully we get to eat outside today too. And I liked the dark purple, and then there's pink. That's really pretty. Yeah, then the light pink aren't open yet. So pretty. This is like one of my favorite places to be. It's just so beautiful. Do you like the red? Yeah. Or do you want a purple? A purple. Well, this is purple right here. Which one, that one? Yeah, do you want one of those? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you gonna help me? All right, we're back from our store and the hardware store. I got just a few things. Some like peppers, cucumbers, cantaloupe. The broccoli was really good. It's like $4.99, so I'm not a huge fan of always buying things that are like cellophane wrapped and stuff, but it's okay, it'll be fun to have a treat of a nice pepper this week. Um, enchilada sauce, and then I got some ground beef from the store. My quarter of a cow that I was supposed to get fell through. So I've been kind of going here and there in between buying stuff from the store and that. So I'm gonna make enchiladas for lunch this week too because those are a hit with my family. And then just uh, mango, I like those, another cucumber. Just a few supplemental things to get us through the rest of the week or this week until I can do more grocery shopping or have Blaze go grocery shopping for me. And then I'll show you the flowers we got and I let Nevaeh pick one out too. So here's what I got from our local store. Some labella, some salvia, um, a vining plant. I don't usually buy these, but it kind of, hit me as really pretty that pink and then I really liked these which are a little bit more expensive because they're in a single plant container but I'm doing um, a women's bloom and grow flower potting party for our church I'm the head of our church women's group and so I wanted some of these to be able to plant for that event 
I still have these left from a little bit of this labella left from my um, Menards haul I had actually. And so, and then this one was from my mom. So I got a lot of my pots planted, like some of these here. So this is more supplemental. Like flowers are just so enjoyable for me to get and we budget for them and save up for them because they're just, they add so much beauty. like such a little bowl and then he's got the big bowl of ice cream <laughs> look at that teaching her to sand <laughs> that's wonderful so yesterday my husband power washed and sanded the deck and now he's sanding it for the second time before we put a protective coat over it so he's over halfway done which is nice looking forward to having a really nice deck before baby comes so it's been a wonderful Sunday afternoon the girls are down for bed and I'm gonna head in and clean up so that I'm fresh for tomorrow but we were able to just enjoy the outdoors some time at the park I was able to water my gardens and flowers enjoy my garden with the tulips blooming my crab apple tree blooming and blossoming while my husband took the girls for a run so I got a little just respite for a little bit in the afternoon as well and then we ate outside with our pulled pork and roasted broccoli and sauerkraut and just like a wonderful fresh springtime meal and then made homemade ice cream my husband makes that it was chocolate this time really good and got to just relax enjoy like clean up the kitchen while my husband read to the girls and so now it's time for me to go rest and relax a little bit too before the day breaks tomorrow so we'll talk in the morning a morning already so it's already 10 o'clock I haven't spoken to you you've seen a few things already this morning but it's been kind of one of those challenging parenting mornings so far so I've just been doing a few things with the girls um, so we're still taking care of tasks like I had on my list to do it's bedding and towels day for laundry so that's a wash and washing my duvet right now um, so also still doing some potty training and things like that so washing extra clothes and all that stuff has to happen but i'm going to finish folding up some laundry the girls are watching um a little bit of daniel tiger and then we'll probably head outside because i didn't get any planting done yesterday i need to i actually forgot to buy more potatoes and onions actually because i did have some but not enough so i need to go to our hardware store to get some of those uh, i made some bread for my sandwich loaf bread that I really like and this ein jovial einkorn flour just made it really rich and buttery last time I made it so I really like that so that's what I used with some white flour we did a little schooling for my four-year-olds coloring reading you know the routine of my normal morning so I'm gonna finish folding this laundry um, and get a few more things done while the girls are watching the show so one thing I did order more of were these bamboo washcloths. My toddlers use them and I'm going to use them for baby. 
I have some already in here, but I'm just gonna get rid of some of the ones that are a little more scratchy, cause they're just, they're not comfortable for the little ones anymore. And it's time to clean this out and find some band-aids. <laughs> so I really like these. I got them off of Amazon, so I can link them for you down below. I don't need these ponytails anymore either. So these will be incorporated in here instead just because they're so much softer and nicer and they feel better. outside it was nice to get some potatoes in I got some corn in um, and we'll see what else I end up getting in the garden later and then we had smoothies for lunch and cheese and deer jerky sticks just something very simple so now I'm working on supper I'm gonna do an instant pot meatloaf and I got the original recipe from six sisters so if I remember I'll link it below otherwise just like ground beef a can of tomato sauce they say tomato soup but I switched um, I'll put some ketchup in it as a little sweetener and an egg, some oatmeal, some Worcestershire, some salt, pepper, onion, garlic, and then I put it in my Instant Pot in like a round Pyrex container with some potatoes underneath. And you have like mashed potatoes and meatloaf. I'm gonna do sweet potatoes though because I need to use those up. So that's gonna be supper. So I'm prepping that while the girls are laying down. So they were really tired <laughs> from being outside. I think this morning and we'll go back out later today too so I'm gonna work on that and then I gotta finish up some YouTube stuff because I'm trying to prep before baby comes to get a little bit ahead and I need to keep working on my blog because that gets pushed aside a little bit as life gets busier here in the warmer months and I'm outside more so I'm gonna finish this up and hopefully be able to sit down for a little bit too because I am more tired um, and taking short naps when the girls are napping too all right I'll quit chatting and get going on this. when I get busy outside it's so nice out I had a friend stop by well just clean it up and I'll have to get the bread made all right there's the meatloaf I checked to make sure it's done in the middle some fried zucchini with onion and parmesan cheese and he's got some yeah. and some <laughs> excited kids and some sweet potato all right we'll see how the loaves do in the oven they're a little bit <laughs> a little bit runny but we'll make it work
well, the bread turned out beautifully and I had no worries. I had, didn't have to worry about anything with it. So that's a plus. I just folded my last load of laundry for the day, fourth load. So rolling in the laundry today. Girls are down for bed. I'm just cleaning up outdoors here a little bit. And it's just amazing to see the change of blossoms in one day. So my tulips are pretty much fully bloomed. This crab apple tree is beautiful and gorgeous, but it only lasts about a week here because we end up getting rain and wind or storms. So I'm just enjoying looking at it right here and I'll share a little bit with you here. But I hope you enjoy coming along on this day and a half of my life as a mom of two littles, a wife, homemaker, and just doing routine and what it's like for me. So have a blessed and wonderful day and I will talk with you in my next video.